Greetings, Internet, and welcome to uh, one of the last episodes of Insane Ian Taste Tests. My name, of course, is Insane Ian, and, uh, yeah, this episode and the episode after this one are probably going to be the last episodes of this show for a while. It's something I've done in the past, where I kind of took a break from doing the show because of my health, uh, and that's gonna be a thing that I have to do again, because... I do this show a lot. Most seasons go about 17 episodes, and it's a lot of snacks for a while. Usually it's more than just one thing in a in a show, different types of snacks, and all that snacking has given me a fatty liver. So yeah, cutting out carbs and sugars and processed foods, and most of the things I eat on this show are all of those things. But anyway, we're going to get these out of the way so I can get them out of my house and uh, start eating a little more healthily. And uh, so, yeah, that's what this episode is going to be about, this episode and the next episode after this one. Also, I wanted to say, in the previous episode I did of Insane Ian Taste Tests with the Troll Oreos, I forgot to give a shout-out to my friend Jenna, who was the first to bring the Trolls Oreos to my attention. Uh, she actually found a different kind of Troll Oreos. The ones that she found had Pop Rocks in them. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to find those. And I, unfortunately, also forgot to give her a shout-out in the episode. So that's what this is right now. I also had recorded an episode with the Tiramisu Oreos that I accidentally recorded in a format that my computer could not read. So that episode is now lost to the sands of time. But suffice it to say, the tiramisu Oreos taste great, but taste nothing like tiramisu. Anyway, this week, we're taking a look at some different cookies. Firstly, we've got Chips Ahoy with Sour Patch Kids. Uh, and Red Velvet Chips Ahoy. These are... These are weird. I don't know how to feel about these. I've been wanting to try something gross on this show for a while. Something tells me the Chips Ahoy with Sour Patch Kids might fit that bill. So, uh, let's crack into these. Sweet, sour, gone. Artificially flavored, limited edition. They've got regular chocolate chips in them, but the chocolate chips are colored to look like the Sour Patch Kids, but they also actually have Sour Patch Kids in them. Now, when I was a kid, Chips Ahoy were my favorite brand of store-bought cookies for a while. I loved cookies. Cookie was my first word. That might be why I have such gastrointestinal problems, but regardless, cookie was my first word. I love cookies, and Chips Ahoy were my brand of choice when I was a kid. I grew out of that after a while, because after a while, Chips Ahoy, I, I, they may have changed the recipe or something, but they stopped tasting the same way. And especially the Chewy Chips Ahoy really became kind of chemically flavored. Chewy store-bought cookies tend to taste weird anyway because they have to have something in them, some sort of preservative to keep them soft. And it's never naturally tasting. It's just always kind of weird and gross. But Chips Ahoy used to be a fave. Let's see how, they, uh, how they've lasted over the years. It's been a while since I've had Chips Ahoy. Oh my goodness. I don't know about that color. It's not quite cookie colored. It's a little orangish. Can't tell if that's the light that's on these or not. And they're small too. I mean, I remember Chips Ahoy cookies being much bigger. This packaging, these are small, and this is this for me would be a single bite. I, I'm, but I'm not doing that. Though I am not going to eat as many of these on the video as I would normally in my life because cutting back. It's sadness. It's a lot of sadness that's happening in my heart, in my soul, in my stomach. But the sadness is happening in my stomach anyway, and that's been the issue. But I'm getting an actual whiff of the sour flavor, the sour sprinklings that are on the Sour Patch Kids. You can definitely see one right there in the, the chips there and everything. I'm gonna try this. Already smelling the sourness. We'll see how this goes. It's a weird fruity sensation because they're Sour Patch Kids. And there's that 
malic acid that's on the, the Sour Patch Kids that gives it its sourness. But because they're a kind of chewy, gummy candy, they don't taste right in the cookie. It tastes like it's chewing on something that's kind of off. I didn't get one of the regular chips either, but that was a strange flavor. Yeah, there's just something extra chewy about them because they're Sour Patch Kids. And whenever I get Sour Patch Kids, they tend to be a little extra chewy anyway. So that's always fun. So yeah, that went as expected. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Chips Ahoy cookies with Sour Patch Kids crammed into them. You get the sour flavor, you get the fruity flavor, but you also get the extra chewiness of it. And I don't think that's a good thing. Anyway, moving on to Red Velvet Chips Ahoy. Now these have cream cheese flavored chips and are the Red Velvet, which are basically just chocolate with red food dye in it. Just Red Velvet. It's a thing, people like Red Velvet. I happen to like Red Velvet and cake and stuff. I haven't tried it in too many cookies, although they do have Red Velvet Oreos. I think I've done those. If I haven't done them on video, I've had them in real life. You know, because video isn't real life. It's just recorded. And these smell like a, a, a chocolate cookie. They look like your, your standard red velvet cookies. Not quite as bright red as I was expecting on the package, but definitely red-ish. Smells like a decent cookie smell. Uh, again, Chips Ahoy seeming kind of small. I could eat this in one bite if I really wanted to. Sometimes I'm a pig. Obviously. But, uh, yeah. Now the chips smell kind of cream cheesy. So, uh, let's give it a go. Now these... I was worried about this, because I thought these would be the Chewy Chips Ahoy, and not the regular Chips Ahoy, and it doesn't say they're the Chewy ones on the packaging, but they taste like the Chewy Chips Ahoy. They have that artificial softness to them. I was expecting a cookie crunch to them, and, and God, just give. They're not terrible. They're definitely enjoyable enough, but it's definitely not what I was hoping for or what I was expecting with the cookie. Still tasty, but again, I was expecting kind of the more cookie crunch, and I don't know why, I, because red velvet's kind of like a cakey kind of substance anyway, so you kind of expect it to be a little chewier, have a little more give to it, a good soft mouth feel. It's a weird thing to say about food, but yeah, you know, it's not bad. The serving size is two cookies, usually. I have to kind of adhere more to two cookies, my regular serving size. So I've, oh, the serving size on these is three cookies. I can have another one of these awful things. Anyway, that's it for this week on Insanian's Taste Test. If you like what you see, leave a comment, give us a like, maybe a subscribe, or maybe support me on Patreon, which will help me make more videos. You get to hear new songs every month, plus tons of other extra stuff. I appreciate the support, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. I have no clever ending anymore because I can't just shove food into my fat head. I mean, I could, and there'd be video of me going into shock and just rather not have that. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a cookie form, uh -huh. you know I'ma eat it anyway. Oh yeah. So come on. You can give me anything that you want. Anything that you want.